Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. So today we're taking a look at the fourth one of the Wreck and Rule collection, uh, Amazon exclusive. You got Spindle and Comic Universe Impactor. Wow. Looks cool. Love the artwork, man. That is so colorful. Golly, they're in action. Pew, pew, pew. So there you go. You got the Wreck and Rule collection. You got Spindle. Now he is a recolor and retool of Paleotrex, one of the uh, fossilizers from Kingdom. And this one is a uh, recolor and a retool of Impactor from, um, you got Siege. There's four of them, or three of them out there. You got the Netflix one, the Siege one, and then there's another one, a three pack and everything. So there you go. Wreck and Rule. Seen that before. All right, transformations, 19 steps, 28 steps. I'm not gonna go over transformation. Uh, you've seen these several times. I mean, like I said, there's, this is the fourth one. Um, I actually did the transformations uh, earlier if you wanna go back and watch those and uh, for payload tracks as well. And he's just a fossilizer. He just basically just explodes and, you know, does that. So there you go. Um, nothing really to read and then that's it. Uh, you also get a part of the hammer, the B part, the main, you know, part of it. So we need one more. You can complete that paper, you know, hammer if you want to. All right, well, let's get right to the review. All right, we're going to take a first look at Spindle, and he is spindly. Uh, like I said, he is a retool and a recolor of Paleotrex from uh, Kingdom. He's got a different head sculpt, definitely right here, and he's got, I think, different hands as well, and he is a recolor. Uh, now I've come across the issue, which I think a lot of people have, uh, I'm in a chat with, you know, like fire talks and Patriot prime and Kate on all those guys and Larkin. And this right here is just, just really flimsy. It just, come on now. It comes apart like that. Uh, I think Larkin took a heat gun to it and fixed it. You know, he's able to squeeze it. Um, I don't know what Larkin did. I think Larkin may have done the same thing. Not, not for sure. Um, I might have these, uh, yeah, I think I may have these on the wrong sides because that uh, wrecker uh, is supposed to be, the wrecker emblem is supposed to be on the outside of it. I apologize. One second. There you go. And you just tap it. Like I say, you just, these are fossilizers and they're just, you know, you just do this. Yeah, try to fix this up real quick. All right. But anyways, yeah, those uh, mushroom pegs really just come out really, especially in bot mode. Uh, in alt mode, they're fine. I mean, they don't, you know, it takes a little force to get them out. But anyways, here he is. Very nice. I like it. You got the nice silver paint for the teeth. That's really cool. And then no silver paint. I mean, they should have painted that, you know, as well. But anyways, you can open it up like that. There's his head sculpt. And... Uh, not much, you know, you can go a little wiggle waggle there. Uh, you got the new hands and you also got the new, uh, face plate or whatever mask or whatever. And that looks pretty cool. I like that nice silver, uh, gunmetal silver and silver paint that is nicely done. And you got these little, <laughs> little T-Rex hands. I can't do any push-ups, but, uh, they are on a ball, uh, ball peg, I think. And you can move them around a little bit. The legs move up and down or, you know, back of that. And then they go out there like that. I love, love that metallic blue wrecker symbol. That looks pretty awesome. I like that. And you can do a little wiggle waggle there, uh, up and down, and swivel right there. So just the main, you know, what he could do before. But it's just a little different. But like I said, that that little peg right there is just... I may have them on the side, wrong side too as well. Oh, well. Anyways, here is Spindle. Um, now I'm going to put a, I, unfortunately, like I said, I've packed away a, a bunch of my stuff, uh, most of my stuff, and I don't have, uh, payload tricks out. So I'm going to put a picture of payload tricks right there and just show the little difference, like I said, to him. So he should be right here. So there you go. All right. So that is him in his alt mode. Uh, we're going to move on to impactor and there you go. Kneel down. 
Now here's the impactor, the main reason why I got this set. I do love the fossilizers. I think they're awesome. And I'm going to show you some configurations, what you can do with them. You know, like I say, you can, you know, arm up other, you know, other transformers and stuff. But he is the main reason why. But, you know, like I said, this is the fourth, uh, you know, fourth edition of impactor that we've gotten. Um, but it looks good. I like it. Very nice. So you can, uh, you know, swivel the turret. This goes up and down a little bit. There you got the little uh, spear, a little spear thing that it will be in alt mode. Then you got the the duck, the duck bill right there. Now this, um, I'll, and when you open the box, this, the duck bill, this, and uh, the tail whip or the tail gun or whatever for uh, a spindle. They're in a little, uh, you know, uh, thing of a uh, paper. Uh, so make sure you don't throw that away. It does have the weapons in there whenever you open it up. So just be wary of that. Uh, nice silver paint. Love silver paint for the tracks. Uh, you got the nice purple right there. Silver for these uh, kind of teeth things, I guess, whatever they're called. Uh, he does have wheels, and they do roll just fine. Tap that in. They do roll and everything. He does got some nice purple, yellow paint right there. Looks good. And you got the wrecker symbol right there. And you'll see that more uh, better in um, bot mode. And then you got the back. Try to get that tabbed in a little better. And there you go. You got some nice sculpt work right there. Would have been cool if they painted that. That would have been nice. And then you got underneath right here. So pretty cool, y'all. Like I said, I like the impactor mold. It's a pretty cool mold. Uh, so there you do have some ports right here if you want to put, you know, um, you add on some stuff from Spindle. Or if you want to put some Battle Masters, uh, you're welcome to do that. And you can put blast effects on these too as well. So there you go. Let's... Uh, Oh, I'm going to show you the differences in the tank mode uh, from the Siege. So I'm going to put that right here. And so you can see the difference. I think the mainly difference is the, the chest right here, uh, which he w is going to be his chest when he transforms. That's a little different. Uh, the duck bill is different. And I think some uh, maybe something else, but not a whole lot. But it is a retool, so that's pretty cool. So there you go. That is uh, Impactor and Spindle. He's a little big for the camera, but let me try to see if I can get him to stand up. Come on now. There we go. And let me see if I can raise the camera up a little bit so you can see them together. There you go. I like the purple and gold. It looks pretty cool. It's a nice little color, color combo. So very nice. So there we go. The two pack. And there is Siege Red Alert. You got a... Uh, Two legends, you got Prowl and you got Wheelie. Uh, both of these are deluxe scales. If you didn't, if I didn't say that, they are both deluxes. Back from transformation, like I said, I didn't go over transformation, but you know, like with the fossilizer, you just basically explode them and you can put them back together. So here is Spindle. Uh, we'll take a quick look at his weapon. Like I said, make sure you check in that little paper, uh, little bag or little paper, rolled up paper. Uh, it does have the weapon, so make sure you you know don't throw that away. Um, basically, just his little tail whip, no paint or anything like that, just some brown everything. So, and you can put it in either hand if you want to. That's pretty cool. And here is Spindle himself. And yeah, looks uh, pretty cool, I guess. You know, all right. Um, I watched Patriot Prime's review, and now I just can't unsee it. Uh, Bucky, he's got Bucky the Beaver. He's got buck teeth that looks like. It's just a weird head sculpt. But it's painted it's nice silver. And you got a nice little blue for the uh, eyes, a little visor. Looks really good. I like that. And a different shield, uh, or kind of a, a mask um, right there. You got nice... Um, you know, uh, gunmetal uh, silver and silver paint right there. So that's nicely done. I like that. Um, as far as other paint, that is about it. This kind of looks painted, but it's kind of a gold. 
got the Lakers uh, gold and purple and gold right there. You know, love, love the uh, metallic, whoop, my metallic um, blue for the record symbol. Now, like I said, with this, you know, right here, these do pop off a little easy. Um, so just be aware of that. I know everybody's having that issue. And, um, yeah, so there you go. As far as articulation, I'm going to go really much, you, can, you know, up and down, swivel. Uh, the head can go up and down. You can, if you want to do this, you can do that if you want to. Um, you know, swivel. So decent range. Nothing really, you know, a little up and down a range there as well. Um, swivel of the waist, kick up, kick back. Um, you can go out to there swivel and everything so he's basically just you know and then you got a knee bend right there as well and like i said he they're mainly used to uh arm up other uh you know transformers so i'm going to do that uh here's the back i think you can yeah you probably do that right there and uh make it look a little better but that does stick out but not terrible there is the back so very nice so there you go uh, let me show you. Um, I'm going to put him next to uh, Paleo Trex. Uh, I'll put a picture of Paleo Trex and show you the difference in there. I think that head sculpt is different. This is different. Uh, this is different right here, too, as well. But right there is uh, Paleo Trex. All right. So there you go. That is Spindle. Let's move on to Impactor. All right, here is Impactor in Nakisa. Like I said, he is a recolor and a retool. This is kind of the head sculpt is kind of off the uh, UK uh, comics. Uh, so you got a new head sculpt from the other one. So look good. Like I said, he does have these weapons. Uh, the duckbill thing comes off as well. So you just plug that in. Uh, so you got a new head sculpt, the new chest. Uh, this is different too as well. The duckbill is different, and this area up here is different. Other than that, I think it's the same. The arms are about the same, the legs and everything. But he does got a new chest. Like I, said, I love that uh, record symbol. Uh, the weapons, he does come with his, uh, you know, his uh, hook or not hook, but um, harpoon or something, whatever you call it. Nicely painted silver. I like that. And then you got his gun. It is uh, got some waffles in there, but it's just gray plastic. Um, you can, you know, you can put it right here if you want to. You can store it however you want to, but mostly you use it, everybody uses it for his uh, hand. So you just switch it out like that. And then you put it in. So it's a tight fit, so be aware of that. Golly. So he's got a little harpoon thing. And then you can put his weapon. So that's pretty cool. All right. So there is the new head sculpt. Beautiful head sculpt. It's got the nice silver paint and the red eyes. Looks really good. And then got purple paint for the uh, head crest. Looks really nice. You know, once again, the new chest, you got yellow paint right there. I love that symbol. Uh, some of this is painted purple, so that is really nice. Once again, the Lakers colors. And then you can see you all saw this in the uh, tank mode. Nice uh, sculpt work. You got silver for the treads and a lot of uh, yellow, kind of mustard yellow. But nice sculpt work. They would have put some silver paint or something right there. That would have been really nice to bring that out. And then here is the back. Cleans up pretty good. Just got a little hump back there, but not terrible. You do got some big waffles, but I think they made some, uh, third party, uh, company made some filler. So you can fill that up and definitely fill this up too as well. So nice. So, um, articulation wise, just, uh, side to side, not much up and down, a little wiggle waggle. And that's about it. This does move as well. If you want to move it up like that, you do have a port right there. If you want to put it now, you can move up to there. I love how they fill that in. I love that when they do that, that is really cool. Uh, all the way around, 90 degrees, bicep swivel. Uh, nothing for the hands. You can move them in and out just because of transformation. Waist swivel, which is up here, which is weird. You do have a app crunch, so that's pretty cool, but you can't look up, so it kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, nice ratcheted uh, fan dam all day, every day. Kick up, kick back. Swivel, which is a knee swivel. It doesn't have a thigh swivel. Uh, 90 degrees for the knee bend. You got tilt tilt up. You do got a nice rocker as well. So very nice. So there you go. That is Impactor. And I'm going to put a picture of a couple Impactors that they had. The Netflix, uh, the 3 pack, and the Siege. And we'll put them right there and just show you the difference. All right, so there you go. That was the differences. Like I said, mainly it's just the head sculpt and the new chest 
and the new uh, duck bill thing up here right there so very nice all right so there is impactor and let's bring over spindle again and here is them together really cool that's good so there you go lakers quick there is ironhide back there and you got size to light there deluxes and voyagers you got optimus prime and tits mcgee over there uh retgar for some scale and crap gone it's crappy toilet paper some pepper spray uh kicker squeaks and care bears for more scale all right and there they are so far the wreck and rule team you got bulkhead springer you got spindle uh you got impactor then you also got uh twin twist as well so i think it looks good uh bulkhead's still my favorite by far then comes springer and then these kind of, you know, all kind of last and everything. But uh, I love the bulkhead one. But there they are. The thing looks pretty cool. Just waiting for the other two pack. And we'll have the uh, complete first series of the Wreck and Roll. All right. Here's one, a quick uh, look at one of the, uh, you know, contraptions you can build, you know, with the uh, fossilizers. Like I said, that's the main draw of these is you can use them as weapons. And so here is something just, you know, wild and everything. It looks pretty cool. So you can use these as claws and stuff. And you got some nice, uh, you know, weapons and, you know, melee weapons and everything. And you can use the uh, little thing as a shield, I guess, if you want to. You can put it up there. You know, every one, whatever you want to do. So this is one of the, con you know, contractions. Uh, this is actually in the instructions. So, uh, but yeah, just use your mind, you know, you know, let it run wild. Use your imagination and uh, just have fun with it. That's what was fun with the Wolf of Cybertron was the uh, playability. So I really do like this. It looks you know, looks freaky, but looks pretty cool. So there you go. All right, final thoughts on the uh, Impactor and Spindle 2-pack for the Wreck and Roll. Um, it's fine. Uh, definitely, you know, Impactor is the best one out of these two. Uh, with this one, you know, this this right here, um, just, it was bad. You know, it's really bad. Um, they should, you know, they sh should have fixed that before they even released it. But um, he's fine. You know, like I said, he, you know, mainly used him for, you know, to add on to, you know, you know more weapons for, you know, Impactor and everything. Uh, but I like them. Uh, alt modes, they're fine. You know, I like the tank mode. looks really good. Uh, like I said, Impactor is the best one out of this one. So this one is kind of a mess. They just would have threw in Impactor. I would have been fine. I would have just got Impactor. I really didn't need this one. But it's cool to have another, you know, um, a fossilizer around. Um, you know, transformation is real easy. Like I said, um, he, you know, he mainly transforms pretty easy. He just, you know, you take everything apart and put them together. Um, paint wise looks pretty good. They got some decent paint on them. I like it. Like I said, I love the blue metallic, uh, wrecker symbol. Uh, I love the, uh, this new mask that he has. That's nicely painted. You do, you do got the Bucky Beaver thing going on. Um, but you got the new head sculpt for him. That looks really good. Like I said, that's the UK version. Um, and then you got some, uh, different chest and everything. Um, articulation, you know, pretty good across the board. You got everything you need just for, you know, the Wharf Cybertron Siege kind of thing going on. Uh, so definitely, uh, the articulation there. Uh, materials, you know, meh. Uh, really good on him. You know, I didn't feel like it's going to break anything. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, so overall, you know, if you already got the other three, yeah, you might want to get this one, but most, I think a lot of people skip this one just because it wasn't, you know, it's another impactor, you know, it's another, but you know, he does have retool, uh, but it, it is another impactor. And then most of the people didn't really care for this guy. So, you know, and I can understand why, but uh, I love the, uh, the purple and gold, the Lakers colors. I love that, uh, combo together. So um, I'm glad I got this set. You know, I, I want the whole, you know, the whole wreck and roll kind of thing. I hope they do a series too. I know we've seen um a, a lot of people want uh top spin and they also want they saw whirl on the box of uh twin twist so i hope we'll get whirl and we'll get uh you know a bunch of other uh records and so that's pretty cool 
So, I hope you like my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And uh, hit me up some comments. Uh, like I said, it all really helps out the channel. And go watch my stuff. It really helps. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transform review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell, freaking wreckers. And good night, folks. Yeah, pretty cool. Definitely, definitely good for this one. I see a lot of people trying maybe to sell this one off. But I don't know if anybody's going to buy uh, Bucky Beaver or not. But pretty cool. All right. So uh, love y'all that stuff, cousins. Uh, roll Tide as always. Roll Tide.